project we've uh, been working on for the past nine days. It's a nice vinyl seawall that we've uh, replaced in front of an old wooden seawall that was rotten out. Brought the elevation of the property up a little bit to prevent the uh, wave action from coming over the uh, wall during storms. I'll get you some pictures here and kind of see how this project was put together. We've got most of the main wall installed here now. Now we're working on the uh, return wall over here. It's a 25 foot return wall. Got the tieback system installed. 5-8 stainless steel rods. It's on the inside whaler here now. Keeps the sheets in line on the back side. Also supports the uh, top. We have brought in 39 20-yard dump trucks on this project. That's 720 yards of dirt. That is a lot of backfill. That's how we connect to the neighbor's seawall. Got an old wood seawall down there. We put a corner in our vinyl walls, turn a corner sheet, and now we're connecting it to the wood wall, and we'll install some erosion control cloth behind the connection. That'll prevent any leaks in between the two walls after we're done. have four 18 wheel trucks coming in with 100 tons of bank and shore riprap. This will definitely break up the wave action and prevent scouring action along the toe of the seawall.
watching the video. I appreciate it if you would subscribe. That would really help me out a lot. And we've got five other crews doing the same thing. I just don't have time to get around and check all the jobs. But you can follow the progress of their jobs on Facebook, Dale's Marine. Thanks.